Hello chess friends and welcome to Azad of Chess Channel and welcome to a spectacular game of the late edition of the title Tuesday on chess.com. We have here the strongest player of our generation, Magnus Carlsen against another top grandmaster and really strong opponent, Evgeny Posny. So Magnus won yesterday the late edition with a beautiful performance. He gained nine half points out of the 11 rounds. Great, great results uh, by Magnus Carlsen again. And the cool part, and I think this is the most impressive game that Magnus Carlsen played, the cool part about this game is that again uh, that Magnus Carlsen will not try the regular openings like e4, d4, c4 or maybe knight to f3 is also pretty solid in the beginning. Magnus actually opened here with a sharp uh, Polish opening with the move of b4. Very very wild stuff. Uh, Gany Posnitz's response was d5, bishop to b2, knight to f6, e3 and now after move g6 actually the game transposes into the ideas of the Spassky variation against the king's Indian attack against the Zuckertort opening because when when you're starting maybe with the white pieces um, uh, to play the move knight to f3 in black's response with knight to f6 maybe g3 uh, with the ideas uh, to play d3 e4 going into the king's indian attack one of the best responses believe me or not is to go into the spassky variation with the move b5 and bishop to b7 but now we have the spassky uh, variation in a reverse way because you see now look at this after d5 bishop to b2 knight to f6 e3 and g g6 magnus has a clear competition against the powerful bishop on on uh, g7 and the good part also is that you have now attacking chances by pushing the pawns maybe c4 b5 a4 so you're trying with the support of this bishop to create the flank attack on the queen side and you don't worry for instance after bishop to g7 the knight moves somewhere then you simply trade off uh here the bishop against your opponent's dark square bishop so then you continue to push simply on this side of the board i think nothing spectacular not really a bad opening such a bad opening here from Magnus Carlsen but let's see now how he handled here uh, also Black's play on the diagonal so we have c4 by Magnus Magnus is breaking immediately in the center d takes c4 bishop to c4 bishop to g7 knight to f3 kingside Carlsen Carlsen also by Magnus a5 many times also when you play the Spassky variation with the black pieces your opponent will try to dismantle somehow here the queen side Magnus is passing through which is a good move of course you don't want to take then you're inviting your opponent's rook into the game and you can crack here uh, simply on the a file so that's why b5 uh, Magnus has now the space advantage on the queen side we have here uh, knight from b to d7 with clear ideas to play knight to b6 and hitting the bishop on c4 d4 by Magnus Carlsen locks of course a little bit the dark square bishop out of the game but don't worry you still have access to the a3 square you could change the direction of the attack by the dark square bishop and you still have a great activity we have here knight to b6 bishop to e2 bishop to f5 you see evgeny posny is also playing actively with his pieces he has now access to the d5 square also to the e4 square so so far a pretty equal position knight to c3 we have a4 with the threat to play a3 if that happens then your bishop will be locked out on c1 i don't think you'll be able uh, to get the bishop into the game again because black has a great control of the e4 square so that's why magnus as we said in the beginning played now bishop to a3 still has a great activity on this diagonal and hits also the e7 weakness rook to e8 rook to c1 occupying the same open file here on the c file we have knight to e4 h3 knight takes c3 rook takes c3 bishop to e4 and now queen to d2 very important move by magnus he's trying of course to double up the rooks on the c file and hit the c7 weakness we have a rook to c8 rook to c1 knight to d5 hitting the rook rook to c5 b6 okay you could have maybe your fun against the rook but this pawn is weak we can play rook to c6 in some lines if we get challenged still there is access maybe to the c4 square so nothing gained here or you leave simply a weakness in your position so uh, that's why here e6 was played by Evgeny Posny with the idea to play uh, here the move bishop to f8 and hit the rook on c5 but Magnus noticed something when Evgeny Posny played the move e6 now the light square bishop doesn't have so uh, so many good squares to escape so that's why Magnus played simply queen to b2 controls the e5 square and now bishop to f8 
And now comes the tricky part. Magnus, uh, rook is hanging. Many of us would play something like rook to c4, but Magnus played the optimal move, knight to d2. Beautiful counterattack here by Magnus. Attack simply the bishop on e4. We have bishop to c5, d takes c5, and whatever black does, I think the bishop is lost. Maybe a slightly better way for Evgeny Posny would have been if he would have played here to move bishop to f5. Evgeny Posny played knight to f6 here. But let's see what happens if you play bishop to f5. The problem still is, of course, this idea, g4. But at least in this line, Evgeny Posny could have played queen to h4. At least he's threatening something. But white can defend this position easily. You play bishop to g4. Now we play queen to d4. You cannot take because uh, the queen is lost. You have to play, I don't know, knight to f6. But we can play knight to f3. I'm pretty sure that Magnus Carlsen saw everything here in this line. Uh, because he's a great tactician. Uh, he's uh, sensing these types of positions. So... Even in this line, I think black is pretty lost because after queen to h5, we can take, you take, now the rook is coming, we attack the knight, uh, h2 square is covered by the knight, you could try maybe f5, then we have this one, look at this, the dark square bishop is coming into the game, maybe you can play d4, d, queen to d5. Again, I think uh, white should be winning here for sure. So maybe this was somehow um, a way for Gany Posny to spice up the position to threaten at least something. But after uh, here d takes c5, he tried knight to f6, protecting the bishop. Magnus plays a beautiful move, rook to d1, threatens now to play knight takes e4 with a threat against the queen. So that's why bishop to d5, but now here e4 anyway, and the bishop is trapped. The bishop doesn't have any more good squares. So that's why Gany Posny tried this one. Uh, c6, we have e takes d5, e takes d5, and now bishop to d3, Magnus is protecting, of course, the weak square in his camp, the weak e4 square, and we have to say, it, white is better here, uh, much, much, much better, has now the beautiful bishop here, uh, for the lost rook, uh, still has access, of course, to this diagonal, it gets very dangerous, uh, you don't have any more dark square bishop, so what Magnus is trying to do now, is build a queen and bishop battery, and maybe in some lines, even deliver check. We have knight to h5, we have queen to d4, uh, good move, creating also a blockade against this pawn, but obviously preparing uh, checkmate threats on this diagonal. Queen to g5, bishop to b2, f6, must move here for Evgeny Posny. Knight to f3, queen to f4, and now bishop to c1, queen takes d4, knight to d4, leads into a um, better position again for white. Okay, maybe black can battle somehow with this pawn on the d file, but this is simply too much pressure, I think, here against black. Black's position. So knight to g7, b takes c6, Magnus attacks the rook, attacks the rook again, again uh, the rook has to step back, and now bishop to d3, uh, the pawn on c6 is still weak. We have rook to c8, rook to b1, the position is I think collapsing here for uh, for black rook to b6 is going to happen and if you lose this pawn i think you lose also the game then this passer is rolling this is a supportive bishop this bishop can be included into the game so again a messed up position here for black a3 now comes this idea uh, magnus protects of course his knight first f5 takes of course uh, the pawn we have rook to e8 knight to b4 and now after bishop to d2 uh, magnus is controlling the e1 score no dangerous checks are possible knight to e6 and now after bishop to b5 obviously it was game over magnus took the rook and in this position evgeny posny resigned so okay this is uh, just a blitz game on chess.com but i really enjoyed it because again Believe me or not, Magnus uh, Carson played without inaccuracies, mistakes or blunders, and he played, uh, I would say, a dubious opening in the beginning, the Polish opening, but you see how Magnus Carson knows his stuff, because he has played also the Spassky variation of uh, the Kings in the attack with the black pieces in his career, so he knows uh, the common themes that are coming out of this pot uh, potential opening, so uh, he's really well prepared in any of this line, so great game, I think, here by Magnus Carson. So, okay, I hope that you enjoyed this game, I really enjoyed a lot if you want to see more about the spassky defense uh check out our games that we have analyzed before it's very very interesting line and if you want to see some other content here on my youtube chess channel check out our come to chess games played by computers where we see really the most spectacular games in ai chess and if you like this content hit the subscribe button see you soon with some more videos and what do we say in the end chess is the best of course